over the last several weeks, we've been showing you how to cook classic New Mexico recipes thanks to a local business owner and her mom. And today, Casey Messer gives us two classics, red chili and red chili enchiladas. Today, it is all about red chili enchiladas. Are these your favorite? Whose favorite are these? They're everybody's uh, favorite. Yeah, our okay. red chili's pretty famous. And we're about to find out why. Angel tells me you can definitely use red chili powder if you're in a pinch, but authentic red chili starts with the pods, and you want to get up close and personal with them. I like to kind of squeeze it and smell it, and that's going to give you really, I mean, that tells you what it's going to taste like. If it's sweet or hot, you'll fill it in the back of your throat. So give those chilies a big bear hug to find the bag you like. And from here, um, you're going to open the chilies up, and you're going to get as many seeds out as you can. Um, and then once you do that, you'll rinse them off and then you'll put them in a pot of boiling water. Boil them until they're nice and soft. Make sure you have plenty of water since this will be the base for your chili. Boil for about 20 minutes. Now we add the other ingredients. Everybody's palate is different when it comes to, well, everything, but chili especially. So your basic ingredients are going to be garlic, onion powder, salt, cumin. Um, and that's pretty much it. Angel recommends letting the chili pods cool before adding them to the blender. And again, it's by taste, but this is what Angel adds. One tablespoon of garlic, one fourth teaspoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of cumin, add one teaspoon of salt, and that's it. Blend away. Here we go. It takes a few minutes to blend, and the key is getting the skin out of there. Now time to fry up some corn tortillas. Now we plate, add some cheese, as much as you want, some tomato, a little green onion, and then red chili, and keep layering. And of course, you can add a fried egg or sour cream if you like. And once again, I'm shocked and surprised how easy it was. That's it, right? That's it. Oh my gosh. All right, That's once again, it. I have these made up in my mind that they're so hard and difficult. Anybody can can make delicious traditional New Mexican food. They really can. The recipes are out there. Okay. You can get Angel's recipe. It's up on our website at KOB.com and see where their food truck stuffed less Sopapia company will be next. Just check out their Instagram and Facebook page.